what up guys nakamoto crypto here today we gotta discuss sunday swap as they are about to release their very first test net on the cardano ecosystem as a dex and if everything runs smooth that will make them the very first dex on cardano that actually works stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to it so this is what they put out in about a day or two they are going to launch their very first test net and this will happen on december the 5th now what to expect is this right here they are sampling some flavors and this is just a test net bear in mind so they are going to provide you with a set of tokens to play around with so you can just swap them around to see if everything works now you can expect some bugs they said so this is pretty much what the test net is for just for them to be able to identify some early bugs so they can fix it up before the main net launches and goes live now you can use your your roy wallet or your nami wallet the nami wallet i really like it is pretty much like the metamask of cardano what metamask is to ethereum is what the nami wallet is pretty much to the cardano ecosystem you are able to use a lot of these dex tokens to do your swaps and all of that DeFi stuff. The Sunday team is working with IOHK. They are, since day one, the only decks that I have seen so far attack any issue that Cardano has so they can work around it to just be better. For example, look at their weekly technical progresses. They are updating people every single week writing articles and just working tirelessly to have this thing up and running. Now, the main thing that they addressed was the concurrency issue. I've made a video about this and if you read this entire article, you would notice that they presented so many ways to attack and fix this issue that the Cardano ecosystem allegedly has that is blocking these DEXs from working well on the Cardano ecosystem. I'm talking about the UTXO model and how it is very much different from the other models on Ethereum and these other blockchains. They even mentioned how some of these other DEXs have a way and also a workaround Cardano's concurrency issue and how they have a solution that can actually fix the entire thing and just have these DEXs up and running. Now, Charles Hoskinson has congratulated them. This is what he wrote on Twitter recently. He says, really proud of this team, meaning Sunday Swap for all of their hard work and just getting things done so quickly. I don't imagine that they will be on the testnet for so long. With any luck, it looks like these DEXs are coming into the Cardano ecosystem just in time, which is right around Christmas. So if the testnet of Sunday Swap goes well, fingers crossed, we are all hoping for that one working DEX on Cardano. We need that one Uniswap like DEX and hopefully it is Sunday Swap. If everything goes smooth, yes, you're going to see the price of Cardano going up. And yes, you are going to see a lot of projects migrate from Ethereum to Cardano as Cardano is still in the tens of cents in terms of transactions. It is super cheap to use the Cardano ecosystem compared to Ethereum's gas fees. This is what we wanted to make a statement that Ethereum, yes, might be the first mover, but Cardano in its third generation blockchain, being a layer one, can also do a much better job. Now, apparently the concurrency issue is a big deal. If you guys remember MinSwap, this DEX right here, they were the very first DEX to launch on Cardano right around the time on September 12th when the Alonzo hard fork went live. If you remember, they tried to be the very first DEX to launch on Cardano, just like Uniswap, to do their swap tokens, but then they did not calculate that there was going to be some concurrency issues and they ran into a brick wall. Since then, they have been working on improving themselves. They are also going to launch their testnet soon to see if everything goes well. So the DEXs of Cardano are working really hard to make this thing happen. Once it happens, you are going to see prices explode, especially Cardano's ADA. Now, the market is taking a big tanker right now as we speak. Ethereum is down 13%. That is insane. It took a big hit. Bitcoin also took a big hit. Look at this. Right now, as we speak, Bitcoin is tanking $48,800. Bitcoin hasn't seen the 40s in a couple of weeks. So is the bull run over? 
I will leave that assumption for you to make in the comment section below. Because what you have seen this year is that Bitcoin went up to $64,000 around April, Mayish. It tanked, went into a small consolidation phase of a few months, came back up in November to around 69,000 and tanks again to right now its lowest, which is $48,900 as we speak. So here's the question. Are we going back into a long lasting bear market? which is gonna last the next few months before Bitcoin could target a new all-time high. If that happens, then that means the four-year cycle is dead. And this is the beginning of a new phase, an era where Bitcoin just reaches a new all-time high, wake off distribution, we go back down, it accumulates for, for the next few months and then forms a new all-time high. If that happens into the year of 2022, then you best believe that this four-year cycle theory is just dead so for those who wanted to pick up bitcoin cheap just a few days ago bitcoin was at $69,000 it is right now at $48,000 so you either buy it as a retail or just leave it for the institutions because if bitcoin is too expensive you can always dollar cost average into some of these layer one altcoins look at cardano's ada it's at a dollar 30. this is very cheap to pick up right now and also xrp down to 77 cents xrp is down 20 percent because of some news offered or whatever something came out that the xrp ledger sometimes doesn't work and yes they are taking a big hit because of that doge once elon stops mentioning it there you go the power of the meme coin just dies down shiba inu took over the spotlight when it comes to meme coins and yes it is also thanking and is really really cheap at the moment crypto.com CRO also took a 20 percent hit downwards look at this this is insane crypto.com was almost at 91 cents it was almost at a dollar just a few days ago and it is coming back down to 54 cents one good thing about them is that they signed a 700 million dollar deal to keep them at float for the next 20 years replacing the staple center the entire stadium will be renamed crypto.com and that means that millions of people are going to be walking into that center every single weekend to watch their games and this name crypto.com will be drilled into their memories so imagine the price of cro when that happens that kind of mass adoption so yeah right now the market is not doing too good if you haven't taken profit already, you should have done it while Bitcoin was in the 60s. So at least now you know, if Bitcoin hits $72,000, you might wanna start taking some profits. We haven't even seen altcoin season yet. And there's major world current event news that are also affecting the price of Bitcoin. You already heard of the Omicron, the new variant that is tanking the stock market and also BTC. So just be wary that if Plan B says 135,000 by December. It didn't happen in November, his 98K pr predictions. So the 135K in December might not happen either. This stock to flow model doesn't always go hand to hand with BTC. The market always does what the market does and people are going to continue to speculate. So don't take what some famous personality in the crypto space says at heart because often they can be very, very wrong. We are in a speculative market. Nobody knows what tomorrow holds. This for the first time in December, in a four year cycle, Bitcoin is supposed to be skyrocketing. And right now it's just not, it is tanking heavy. This could be whales, price manipulations. It could be world current events. You just have to be very, very cautious. Bitcoin is down 16% right now as we speak. That should tell you everything that you need to know so what are your thoughts on sunday swaps testnet that is upcoming will you participate let us know in the comment section below like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out